In Winnipeg, I came back to the last day, 10th. And so I'm thinking, okay, if I can get in the top five, this is going to be good. So at the end of the first round, don't you know I'm fifth? So I go back and I jump clean in the second round, and I'm thinking it would take a miracle to get a medal. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I, I stood there and watched the other four disintegrate and won the, won the individual gold with this horse called Ivar, which is actually a horse that my son chose and loaned to me for, for those games. We just get that little bit more pumped up when we're doing it at home. And this particular Pan Ams is critical to us because it's our, it's our qualifier for the Olympics next year. And our result is very important for that. South American countries have been really upgrading their horsepower and their riding skills, and they are a serious threat. So, uh, no, I think this is going to be a, a very formidable challenge uh, in Toronto. He's a distant relation to Big Ben, as a matter of fact, which is really odd. Uh, I didn't know that when I went to see him. He's a Belgian bred horse, but I found him in Italy. <laughs> so he moved around a little bit and we got him. And uh, he is just an outstanding horse. He won the, the, the CP International out here last September, the richest Grand Prix in the world. And he's been on quite a number of Nations Cups for Canada since we've had him and always contributes a very sound uh, score. Uh, he gets better all the time. I, I have the highest regard for the horse. Yeah, very, very proud to have the ride on Dixon.